In the 1930s, a company, a British company called Rally, used to build three wheeled cars, motorcycles, and push bikes. But in the late 30s, they decided to ditch the three wheeled cars and motorcycles and just focus on the push bikes. So a rally motorcycle hasn't been seen unless it's been a classic for many, many years. Well, up until now. In Kenya, you can buy rally motorbikes. And in this video, we're going to take a kit rally motorbike, build it on behalf of a community project down in the southern Loiter Hills in Kenya. So this video, let's build a motorbike. I want to introduce you to a man called Henny Murray. Henny, about a decade ago, took his family from the United Kingdom and relocated them in a southern remote part of Kenya called the Loiter Hills. You can find it right on the border between Kenya and Tanzania. During their time in the Loiter Hills, they've done some amazing projects. They've set up a school. They've brought fresh water to many communities that didn't have it. They set up medical projects, as well as a beadwork project to help bring income to the Loiter Hill community. Now, one of the problems with living so remotely is that there's been very little investment in infrastructure. The roads are in pretty poor condition and often will get washed out when weather is bad. So motorbikes are a really useful way of getting round on little dirt tracks and in places where often Land Rovers and Land Cruisers can't go. The medical project was badly in need of a motorcycle. And after a discussion one evening, we found that Rally make motorcycles. I actually even had an old Rally motorbike. So we bought this motorbike, had it delivered to the school where I work at. And over a period of a week, we built from a kit a brand new motorcycle that was eventually going to become a medical project bike down in the Loiter Hills. What we got in there? All the engine components there. That's the kick there, isn't it? The kick and uh, that's, uh, what else have we got? We got the, uh, oh, let's pull the whole top off. Ready? There it is. So they're, they're all the bits that, look, look at that. All of 250cc awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go, look, tires in there. Look at that, so good knobbly tires for off-road. There's your side panels. What's that for? That's more side panels, brake lines down there. What we got here? We've got that's the main subframe down there. Look at that. Frame there. Lots of good stuff. I don't know what that is. That's the cowling for the engine by the looks of it. Look at that. Look at look at that. Lots of engineering goodness for us to uh, unpack and to to start putting together. So. Hopefully, we'll get the team together and we'll start building it very soon. And here we're unpacking the DC box for the new motorcycle we're making. Look at all the bubble wrap, look at all that stuff. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, to keep holding. These are the spaces there, two for the wheel, that one's for the engine. As we worked in a school, there was no shortage of help. We had lots of people dropping in and helping fit a little bit here and attach a little bit there. We had no manual for a point of reference, so we had to rely on Mr. Conlon's motorbike, which was identical to the one that we were building as a point of reference. Fortunately, with his expertise and the willingness of many other people, we managed to get the bike built on time. Day three. 
Okay, so we're day three of the bike build. We're probably about seven hours in. So you can see engine in, front brakes on, back pegs, uh, the wiring loom is in. We're starting to get things onto the handlebar. Come around this side. You can see gear shifter on, more wiring going in. And we're starting to do the front, uh, back brakes and I'm just about to start work on the front brake. So making progress, it's taken us about seven hours, I reckon, to get this far. Um, and I reckon actually we're gonna finish today. So this is very, very exciting. So a, a whole bunch of other students are gonna join us a bit later at lunchtime, but I thought I'd get a crack on because this has got to go out of the door tomorrow to the project that it's being sent to. 8.01 p.m. Right, where we got to? Battery is on, airbox is on, exhaust is on. So mechanically, it's ready to fire up, really. We could probably fire it up. Um, no fuel in the fuel tank. And then um, it's basically tidying up, tidying up the electrics, making sure they don't rattle around, making sure they're all bound and cable tied to the right places. And, and, and trim. And then trim, yeah. So it looks half empty, but actually the trim goes on really quickly. So. 12 o'clock midnight. Um, the wheels are on, brakes are... A functional lights, on. lights, electrics are good. Uh, it's just trim, uh, fuel tank, and trim, and we're there. The next day, okay, Hello, Justin. Mr. Hello, Mr. Conlon, Hello, so just gonna prove it cranks. Well, it cranks over, Woo! just need to put some fuel in it now. <laughs> all the lights are working. I've had this all night. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Like a kid at Christmas. Okay, so the fuel is going in it first time. There you go. It's going in. Jeremiah, you ready? Push the button, twist the top. Yeah. It turned over. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. You got. Twenty minutes later. Here is the man who's bought the bike. Come on in. Oh wow. Amazing. What the heck? You guys have done a fantastic job. Well, that's all Jeremiah. <laughs> well done, Jeremiah. Well, he did the engine. <laughs> well done. Looks good, eh? Looks amazing. Are you pleased? You're very, very pleased. So what's it going to be used for? Tell everyone what it's going to be used for. Um, it's going to be used on our medical program um, and several of the other projects we run. Water projects, medical, the education. So basically as the project's spreading, we're going to be able to reach them better. As you can see, the motorcycle build has been a real, real success and the bike, even as I speak, is down in the loiters doing its job. Thank you to all those who were involved, Mr. Conlon for his expertise, all the students for helping build it, Taraka Limited for providing the bike and also Henny Murray and Red Tribe for trusting us in the assembly.